Have you ever dreamt of stealing the show at your favorite artist's concert? Well, some people have already lived that dream. In this video, prepare to be moved, inspired, and maybe even a little bit jealous because of these lucky fans. Here are the top 20 singers surprised by fans' singing skills. 20. Billy Joel Billy Joel is the Leonardo da Vinci of his art when it comes to music and the piano. Billy opted to take questions from the audience while performing in front of a group of Vanderbilt University students. One courageous and gifted student decides to raise his hand. He tells Mr. Joel that his favorite song is New York State of Mind and begs if he might accompany the star on the piano. Billy responds promptly, sure, what key? When this pupil starts playing, it's clear that his talent is on par with Billy's. The performer hails the pupil, Michael Pollock, and tells the audience to remember his name because the guy's got chops. You may repeat that. To play for Billy was a once in a lifetime opportunity and this child nailed it. Shortly after, Pollock secured a songwriting contract with Warner Chapel. In the years that followed, he wrote songs for artists like B.B. Rexa, Maroon 5, Kelly Clarkson, and Celine Dion. He was a member of the group who wrote the legendary Boys by Charlie XCX and co-wrote several of Love's greatest singles to date. Seven years after that fateful Billy Joel performance, Pollock is now producing his own hits in addition to performing them. 19. Rihanna Typically, the pop star is the one who leaves fans speechless at a Rihanna concert, but it was a fan who halted the singer in her tracks. Rihanna surprised the fan at her Cincinnati event by lending her microphone. The singer was on her anti-tour, singing 4-5 seconds when she offered a fan her microphone. At the 5th Third Bank Arena in Cincinnati, Ohio, the Grammy winner was taken aback by how well an audience member could sing after she handed him the mic and asked him to shout out some words to 4-5 seconds for popular collaboration with Paul McCartney and Kanye West. Tara T.J. Stewart of Columbus, Ohio is an assistant director of intercultural programs at Ohio State University's Multicultural Center and regularly posts renditions of popular songs on YouTube. Cause of all my kindness, Rihanna sang before passing the mic to Stewart, both the audience and Rihanna were caught aback when Stewart roared back is taken for weakness in his pitch-perfect, booming voice. The pop star's eyes widened as she furrowed her brow in surprise. Rihanna was currently on tour in support of her album Anti, which was released earlier and recently topped the Billboard 200 Albums chart for a second week. Stewart described the encounter on Twitter as unforgettable. Y'all don't understand how long I've been riding for Rihanna. I will never forget this. She followed me too, he wrote. 18. Beyonce Beyonce is still one of the most recognizable musicians of her time. In terms of her fans, the artist has influenced countless careers and touched millions of lives. However, Beyonce is becoming more private about her personal life. She avoids interviews and prefers to write instead. Beyonce's personal life is much more closed off these days, and there's a reason for it. When Beyonce did interviews in the past, the story would usually shift. In recent years, Beyonce has avoided that headache by connecting with fans through personal essays on social media. The singer confessed that she has been considerably more discreet about her personal life since starting a family. I wanted to break all of the stereotypes of the black superstar, whether falling victim to bad habits or the absurd misconception that black women were angry. I knew I was given this amazing opportunity and I felt like I had one shot, she explained with Harper's Bazaar. Thankfully, a fan captured this scene which occurred during Beyonce's concert in Copenhagen, Denmark. Beyonce decided to mingle with the audience near the stage while singing Halo. She would even hand over the microphone to a fan, and Beyonce was eventually taken aback by the fan singing along. The video has received over 8 million views on YouTube. Fans praised Beyonce for including them in the performance. Beyonce, for a woman with so much success and talent, is perhaps the most humble celebrity I've ever seen. I think her ability to make it so easy to relate to her is perhaps the most alluring quality about her. 
I hope she never loses that and ends up like the other divas who've lost their way and let the fame go to their heads, one fan writes. She is so lovely and always sweet to her fans. And this boy, oh lord, he can sing. Give him a record deal. It's a fantastic moment that fans will never forget. 17. Charlie Puth Charlie Puth was flown to Los Angeles and appeared on The Ellen Show in 2011 while he was a sophomore at Berklee College of Music. Before then, Puth had been making a concerted effort to follow in Justin Bieber's footsteps by posting music on YouTube, which finally helped him win the Can You Sing competition hosted by Perez Hilton. DeGeneres signed both of them to her now-defunct company, 1111, after witnessing his performance of Adele's Someone Like You, which he did with Emily Luther. In the years that followed, she constantly reminded her audience that she had discovered him. Now it's time for the tables to turn. In Toronto, Charlie notices a girl in the crowd holding a banner that reads, It's my dream to sing with Charlie. He asks her to sing one of his songs while seated at the piano. Charlie warns her that he is the best singer of his songs, but he agrees to give Desiree a chance. He invites her to join him at the piano, and this fan does an excellent job. Thankfully, Charlie decided to fulfill this fan's wish that day. They can take off since the singer instantaneously matches her note on the piano. The audience joins in, and they all contribute to a great moment. Charlie then leads her back to her seat in classic gentlemanly form. What an angel. There are numerous videos of Charlie Puth being extremely nice and singing with fans. It appears that kindness is his thing. 16. Kendrick Lamar When Kendrick Lamar challenges this fan to a spit match, he receives an unexpected surprise. This kid doesn't appear to be a rapper, but appearances may be misleading. When Kendrick responds, You think you can spit rhymes like me? The fan dismisses the challenge lightly. He's sweating, but he's preparing to impress Lamar's crowd. He knows every phrase and effortlessly delivers them to Kendrick. Lamar is clearly impressed. The rapper acknowledges that the kid taught him a lesson on his own song. The audience erupts. Kendrick notices this young man's brilliance right away. A segment of the evening was streamed live on Facebook, and during the first interview, Lamar talked about how his prior perceptions of fame were different from how he currently views his accomplishment, going all the way back to when he first began to gain popularity. He claims, My entire perspective changed. I now realize that my music serves to maintain people's sanity and stability throughout their daily lives. The rapper enjoys visiting schools and mentoring young people. There are numerous videos of Kendrick inviting young fans on stage and providing them the opportunity to share their art. Kudos, Kendrick and your fans. 15. Keith Urban When one Keith Urban fan and his girlfriend won amazing tickets, they decided to build some signs. Rob preferred, Can I Play Your Guitar? over Lex's, It's My Boyfriend's Birthday placard. Keith obliged. After all, it was Rob's birthday. He started playing one of Keith's singles and the star was clearly impressed right away. He was so impressed that he began singing and had his band jump right into the song. Rob Joyce, a skilled guitarist, was allowed to complete the song with Keith and his band. What a fantastic birthday present. Rob's YouTube channel has gone off since that night, and he has been granted even more possibilities. Rob also got to play guitar for Switchfoot in Nashville. This remarkable man appears to be just getting started. An arena packed with 8,000 spectators witnessed Rob kill it on his guitar when he walked on stage with country music icon Keith Urban. After that wild, spontaneous incident, Joyce's YouTube channel went viral in a matter of days, gaining over 300,000 views to date in addition to many more on Urban's channel. Numerous news stories and country music shows such as The Bobby Bones Show highlighted him. 14. Pharrell Williams When it comes to singing and dancing, only Pharrell can compete. This father of four enjoys working with children and recorded his song Happy for the animated film Despicable Me 2. When Pharrell performed the hit at a concert in Leeds, England, he invited a large number of children up on stage to sing along with him. Dylan, seven, a young admirer, attended his first show. 
He was captivated by the brilliance of Pharrell's song while his parents were filming him. His dancing abilities are outstanding. Pharrell is also impressed by the young man. Dylan's moonwalk was flawless. What a wonderful first concert experience for a young guy. Together, Pharrell and Dylan hit the ball out of the park. Perhaps Pharrell will hire Dylan as a backup dancer soon. The delighted father captured the event on camera, and about a minute into the YouTube video, you can hear him yelling and cheering as Dylan dances. He is pulled forward as Pharrell recognizes his Michael Jackson-inspired movements, and Mr. Baraclaw can be heard yelling, That's my boy! Dylan, a Pudsey resident and student at Southroyd Primary, attends street dance courses and never misses a chance to hone his skills. 13. Carrie Underwood Meeting one of your idols would be a dream come true, especially if they're an iconic celebrity. This happened to an 11-year-old girl named Genesis Karina Nava, and it happened in the most remarkable way. Carrie Underwood invited a young fan on stage at a concert and received far more than she bargained for. Genesis Nava is the name of this little girl, and she is swiftly becoming a star in her own right. She was given these concert tickets as a free gift, but she had no idea it would turn out to be one of the best nights of her life. As we've seen time and again, holding a sign pays dividends. Genesis displayed a simple placard that said, Can I sing with you? This rising talent has auditioned for America's Got Talent, launched a YouTube channel, and has a Facebook fan page. Carrie's expression shows that she is pleasantly impressed by the young girl's voice skills. Carrie is very kind to give this little child exposure and an opportunity to realize her aspirations. Genesis was only 11 years old at the time. The child obviously has the pipes for a serious career. Give her some stage performance training and she's gonna blow up one day real soon. Bless Carrie Yu for her kindness and class in allowing this kid to do that. A viewer shared in the comments section. 12. Michael Buble At one of his own shows, Michael Buble was given a run for his money in the singing stakes. In April 2019, Justin Skubovius, a 20-year-old carpet fitter from Winnipeg, performed one of Michael Buble's favorite songs, I Did It My Way by Frank Sinatra, and stunned the artist with his wonderful voice. Michael approached Justin with a sign that stated, I want to sing, and handed him the microphone, only to be surprised by his remarkable talent. Michael then sat on the stage's side, allowing Justin to become the focus of attention and singing along as the little singer did his interpretation of the Frank Sinatra song. Justin told Global News that he knew he wanted to see Michael Buble in concert as soon as he learned the star's tour was coming to Winnipeg. He purchased floor tickets and sought advice from Michael's superfans on how he could perform alongside the singer. I asked, what do you think it would take for me to sing with him? They replied, Oh, we know exactly what you need to do. So they took some poster board from their backpack, got Sharpies, and wrote, I want to sing on it, Scubovius explained. The 20-year-old Winnipeg native claims he usually only sings in church and at weddings, and that it is not his day job. I actually work for a small company that installs flooring, carpet and tile, for example. I'm not singing. I mean, I'd love it if that opportunity came up, but you never know, Justin remarked. 11. Nicki Minaj When Nicki Minaj welcomed a front row fan on stage at a recent South African show, she probably didn't expect him to spew her whole verse from Trey's song's Bottoms Up, complete with hype dance, followed by a full split. The surprise fire performance, which finished with screaming sirens and a roaring crowd, effectively upstaged Minaj to the point where she physically had it, and then walked off stage. She had expected to have some fun with a fan. What she received was a concert takeover by a great young performer. Throughout the song Bottoms Up, Nikki continued to dance with her incredible fan, who spit lyrics with perfection. Finally, there was nothing left to do but exit the stage. She handed over the reins without hesitation. Nikki is such a wonderful sport, and she made this fan's day. She could have been furious, yet she handled it calmly. This concert goer has most likely been waiting his entire life to do anything like this. It was all over when this guy started doing splits. 
Nikki simply couldn't take it any longer. We're all curious if Nikki cried her way home in the car. Following the concert, the fan picked up the jacket he threw off during his historic moment and went backstage with a few other fans. 10. Ed Sheeran Ed Sheeran invites a YouTube fan who covers his songs on stage to play the A-Team in London. The singer-songwriter was singing at the O2 as part of his current UK, Ireland, and European arena tour when he noticed Luke Gittins, 22, in the audience. Are you familiar with the A-Team? Sheeran inquired. Would you like to stand up and sing the A-Team? This isn't planned, so thank you for doing it at the last minute. We've got a guitar set up for you, Ed explained as he walked up to the stage. The reason I wanted to do this, guys, is like, being an up-and-coming singer-songwriter is really, really, really tough. And when he composed the A-Team, he said he was in a room creating songs and attempting to make people care about the songs he was writing. He was covering other people's songs in an attempt to get people to care about the music he wrote. Sharon went on to explain that he'd heard Gittin's original tracks and thought they were brilliant. He then mentioned the Musician's YouTube channel before the pair performed in front of 20,000 admirers. Later, Sharon uploaded some of the official footage of the event, as well as a video of Gittins performing Eyes Closed in the O2 Wait. 9. Selena Gomez Selena Gomez has been crushing it on her revival tour, and it seems that her showmanship encompasses real vulnerability in addition to a vast selection of sparkling bodysuits. Check out this incredible video of Selena Gomez performing in Montreal, Canada. Selena feels upset as fans begin to sing her inspirational song, Who Says? The fans sing together and sound so good that the star needs to take a break. It's nearly unbelievable. Selena clearly identifies with the lyrics and connects with her followers after her recent tribulations. At one point, she tries to resume singing but is unable to do so, and the audience concludes without her. It appears that the young artist has shed tears. It's incredible to see a celebrity be so open and honest on stage. We're not sure if her fans or her own emotions overshadowed her. In any case, it was an amazing performance. The singer continued by discussing the challenges of coming of age and self-discovery when confronted with criticism in the classroom or even on the internet. Gomez acknowledged that she experienced self-worth issues when the hate she encountered from the outside seemed to be relentless. One of the reasons Selena Gomez doesn't Google herself is because of this. When she released Who Says, she was a teenager herself, so it makes sense that the words meant as much to her then as they did to her admirers. 8. Pink Pink was left stunned after encouraging 12-year-old Victoria Anthony to take the stage and scream out a rendition of Perfect at her Vancouver show. Anthony had created a social media campaign with the hashtag Vic and Pink in the weeks running up to the 12 May event, aiming to fulfill her dream of joining the performer on stage for a song. I'm 12 years old and I really want to sing at your concert when you come here, she said in a video posted on Twitter. And I promise I'll be ready, she said, before sharing a video of herself playing Pink's lead hit, What About Us, from her latest album, Beautiful Trauma, during a school talent event. After being picked up by Canadian news outlets, the campaign gained pace, with even Sarah McLaughlin pleading with Pink. Despite the fact that Anthony was not allowed to perform on stage, Pink recognized her from the crowd at Rogers Arena. Are you the person who I read about in the news? She questioned. Do you want to come sing something? Anthony then sang Pink's Perfect in front of an audience of thousands, leaving the artist dumbfounded. 7. Jesse J. British singer-songwriter Jesse J said those things while assisting a little fan in adjusting the audio device she had just put in her ears. During her performance for hundreds of people at the Electric Castle Festival in Romania, Jesse noticed a young girl in the front row who was singing and dancing enthusiastically. Jesse, acting on impulse, picked out the young girl and asked her to the platform. When Jesse decides to invite a fan on stage, she instantly tries to calm the scared young girl. The singer is really patient and gives the young girl guidance. When she finally gets the fan to feel more at ease, they start singing a duet together, and this young child nearly knocks her socks off. 
It's wonderful when celebrities show genuine concern for their fans, as Jesse does. This fan has genuine skill, which Jesse immediately recognized and ensured was appropriately acknowledged. The singer even handed the young child some water and made certain she began in the correct key. The fan duet and vocalist received over 6 million views on YouTube. 6. Adina Menzel Adina Menzel adores her fans and is known to bring one or two on stage with her at most of her performances. She's even had celebrity fans in the audience surprise her, Anna Kendrick and Kristen Chenoweth to name a few. At this Minneapolis event, one fangirl was ecstatic to sing along with Adina. She leaps onto the stage and grabs a companion. This diva does not appear to be satisfied with the lower stage, so Miss Menzel invites her to ascend to the upper level. Adina should have realized she was in for a surprise at that point. When compared to the shy young females who usually accompany the celebrity on stage, the ardent fan seemed rather unsettling, but when you hear her voice, you are instantly captivated. This young lady is as talented as Adina and receives a standing ovation from the audience at the end of her performance. Not only was our favorite Frozen vocalist taken aback, but her day job may be in jeopardy. 5. Celine Dion One amazing Celine Dion fan went viral after impromptu performing her song I Surrender while meeting the singer, and of course, Celine had the best reply. Frida Solomon took advantage of the opportunity to serenade the Grammy winner outside of the Four Seasons Hotel in New York City when she noticed her leaving the hotel and headed into her car. Frida, a self-proclaimed Celine superfan and singer herself, began shouting the classic 2002 song as the Imperfections singer rolled down her window. Frida's friend was present to video the exchange and publish it on social media. I'd hold you in my arms and never let go. I surrender, she sings to Celine, who is dressed to the nines in a ferocious pair of cat-eye sunglasses and an extravagant flowered jacket. Celine, eager to meet her fans, directed her driver to pull over and listened intently as Frida proceeded. The Ashes singer smiled and offered Frida a fist bump, impressed by her vocals. After the video went viral, Frida told E, the incident occurred when she was eating lunch and she couldn't resist the opportunity to sing to one of her musical idols. 4. Jason Mraz Concerts featuring Jason Mraz tend to seem very community focused, but during a recent tour stop in Taipei, one of the audience members stunned even the singer-songwriter by becoming an unexpected part of the act. A young man playing along with Mraz's acoustic concert had brought his own shaker with him from the audience, Mraz noted. Stan, the fan, had greater ideas than Mraz, who chose to bring the man up on stage to join him. You're probably annoying all the people around you, so come up here, he said. Stan didn't just play the shaker, he also started harmonizing beautifully with Mraz on Be Honest. Mraz stares at Stan in shock before backing off and allowing Stan to sing some more, leading to an unexpected duet. This is by no means the first time a performer has spotted potential in their fan base. When Jay-Z invited a 12-year-old fan to rap on stage with him earlier this year, the youngster stole the show. At the prompting of his mother, Michael Buble famously asked a 15-year-old lad to come on stage for a documentary filming. He was so thrilled to see the teen perform that he carried him into the air. And who could overlook this lovely duet, which features Kristen Chenoweth and a vocal coach, of course? Mraz ought to consider hiring a second backing vocalist for the remainder of his tour. 3. Justin Bieber Justin Bieber performed in Toronto, which is not too far from his hometown, in May of 2016. This performer seems to be having a lot of problems. Let's start with his terrible jacket. Then, when Justin starts to sing and dance in the rain, there seems to be a little technical glitch. He is lip-syncing, which is never great, as this malfunction makes clear. Fortunately for him, family was close by. Justin's adorable younger sister makes an appearance on stage. Though Jazzy was taken aback, the entire performance was salvaged. Watching Justin flaunt his tiny sister was a hit with fans, as she appeared to genuinely love her big brother. The audience applauds as the two siblings give a tender embrace to close the song. 
The video demonstrates their genuine connection, as the singer claims he plays a significant role in her life. It's obvious that Tiny Jasmine didn't enjoy the rain indoors, but she did enjoy spending time with her brother on stage. 2. Josh Groban For a young woman, the opportunity to perform on stage beside her favorite performer exceeded her wildest expectations. Josh Groban invited a fan on stage to sing with him during a concert in Green Bay, Wisconsin, as shown in a YouTube video. Josh reads the woman's name and seat number from a piece of paper he is holding at the beginning of the video. The You Raise Me Up performer proceeds with the reading from the paper after realizing that 14-year-old Anastasia is sitting directly in the front row. The girl acknowledges in the note that she enjoys opera and would like to sing a duet with him. After that, the singer exits the stage and approaches her in her seat. Josh leads the woman to a platform in the middle of the arena after making sure she really wants to sing with him. Shortly after mentioning that she would like to sing To Where You Are, one of Josh Groban's hit songs, Anastasia is performing a duet with the legendary Josh Groban. She sounds fantastic when she begins the song. Upon the young woman's performance ending, the audience expresses their gratitude to her. Everyone is cheering once more. The teenager left even Josh utterly astonished. 1. Adele Similar to Rihanna, Adele was pleasantly surprised when she asked a select fan to take the stage with her at Staples Center in Los Angeles. The singer listened in amazement as Jamie Grace, a little fan, performed renditions of Adele's Remedy on the mic, showcasing some seriously amazing pipes. Grace responded to Adele's request to sing more by belting out Elvis Presley's Can't Help Falling in Love. It turns out that Grace is a singer as well. The 24-year-old native of Atlanta, Georgia was nominated in 2012 for a Billboard Music Award and a Grammy for Best Contemporary Christian Music Song for the song Hold Me. She became the youngest artist in history to win the Dove Award for New Artist of the Year in 2012. For some reason, things aren't working out, even though I've been trying to understand why I feel like God is calling me to this incredible mission," Grace wrote. Being on stage with Adele, according to her, was a reminder and an assurance that I do have a voice, and the voice does matter. The Christian singer also talked about how she and Adele might write songs together or perform a three-part harmony, with Adele naturally taking the lead. But Grace wasn't the only ardent concertgoer that evening. J-Lo was also there at the concert, and she was heard belting out Adele's hits. That wraps up the top 20 singers surprised by fans' singing skills. Which performance was your favorite? Share them down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Who knows, you might just be the next fan to leave a singer speechless.